Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Van Berman here. Welcome to my video, well, discussion video today. I'm going to be sitting on my soapbox for a little bit and talking a bit about Brexit and the EU referendum. So if that's not something that you're particularly interested in, then I have a plethora of other videos that are entertaining, probably, presumably to someone, um, you know, gaming related, etc. So since Brexit, there's been a lot of reports that have come out, you know, regarding what will happen, what won't happen, what sort of time scale we're under. A lot of it is interesting, to say the least. Um, but the point that I sort of wanted to make as an overall overarching one is that if you remember a few years back when, I mean, obviously, cancer is always a big thing and not to be joked about. Um, however, the Daily Mail were going for a stage where they wanted to tell you that everything has got cancer in it or will give you cancer you know if you eat more than two tomatoes a day you're likely to increase your risk of of getting it um which obviously i would conclude i'm no medical expert but is a complete and utter load of tosh quite frankly um you know more just scaremongering tactics for just to sell newspapers now there are a lot more sort of what i would call highbrow newspapers or more respected publications that have been doing a very similar thing now with brexit they're releasing these stories that are purely designed to spread well fear or to sell newspapers on the back of brexit about you know some things being um a lot more exaggerated to what they actually what this actual situation will be you know for example there's been things about oh, because of i saw one earlier which i will I'll just get the headline up i suppose it was talking about um one of the leaders of the of the jewish community he was saying that brexit could see all jews flee a fractured europe within 30 years saying that that basically all the jewish communities will disappear in the next 30 years because of Bre because brexit has fractured europe i mean that's complete and utter ludicrousy. There's still going to be Jewish communities here. You know, we have got some quite big Jewish communities, especially uh, around the Manchester area. Well, that's what I'm aware of anyway, when I used to live up that neck of the woods. So I don't really see, you know, any of that going away. It just seems to be um, either taking quotes out of context or someone, you know, who's been put up to saying such a thing about Brexit for ulterior motives. And then... On other such things, I was watching a, a video last night while I was on my night shift about Brexit, and it was going through, you know, some of the stuff that the Remainers were saying, you know, saying that this uh, whole EU army scaremongering is, is what, well, directly that, it's a scaremongering tactic to, you know, force people to vote to leave, because the idea of a European army is, quite frankly, ludicrous when you consider re recent history, and, and that's one <laughs> Which is quite ironic at the same time, because that's what they want us to, you know, think about when deciding whether we should be part of Europe or not, you know, because we should want this peace that we guarantee from being part of the European Union. And the best way to have peace is to have a massive EU army. But anyway, and um, I can't remember what her name is, the Conservative leader for Scotland. Oh, she really should, look, should have looked that up, but... She was basically, you know, calling out anyone who was in favour of Brexit, talking about the fact of um, an EU army could be an idea, saying it was, you know, completely ludicrous. And, of course, since the referendum, since I've said, and a lot of other people have said, you know, we've now got flan flans? plans for much further military defensive uh, cooperation between the European countries. And there has always been talk of a European army. There was times and clips from inside the European Parliament where a lot of um, quite prominent EU members, or yeah, EU members of Parliament, have spoken about their desire to have an EU army. So the fact that, you know, a lot of the sort of, well, I don't know, tactical approach to Brexit has been was portrayed by the Remainers onto Brexit saying, you know, this much money can go into the NHS, when obviously clearly that much money can't go into the NHS. Uh, well, I don't know. See, that's a grey area as well, because they're saying, yeah, 300 million, £350 million pounds a week could go into the NHS. Well, OK, for a start, it wouldn't be £350 million because that's including, obviously, the rebate and what we get back. But in terms of the money that we wouldn't be sending there, yeah, you could put all that into the NHS. No, Obviously, no part, uh, no party would because that's a lot of extra money that they will now be getting in as not being a member of the European Union. But, of course, that does depend on what sort of deal is negotiated anyway. 
So, I don't know. I like to think we're giving ourselves a chance on that. I don't really want to harp on too much about it. I just really want to talk about the main thing I was going for is the media's perception of this whole Brexit thing. Um, it is very much a, you know, bandwagon where people get, you know, to sort of stir up people's emotions to, I presume, sell publications. But quite frankly, a lot of it is very petty. And I'm not a big fan of that sort of journalism at all. Um, it's not reporting really too much on facts or with any sort of logic. And quite frankly, you know, all that we've seen so far is actually it does. And this is the thing they won't. This is the thing they're not very. They're not advertising very well. They have mentioned it a couple of times, but it's almost like, oh well, Britain looks like it's going to be okay. Oh really? It looks like it's going to be fine, does it? Yeah. Oh, but it might get worse in the future, guys. Oh my God. And that's the sort of, well, that's the sort of rhetoric we get from these sort of media types. Anyway, just wanted to give you a quick quick video to talk about it. I know I don't normally do politics, and I always say that, you know, politics should play no real part in my channel, because obviously people get very upset about it. But I just felt like sitting on my soapbox, having a bit of a natter about it, and, yeah, just seeing if that resonates with any of you guys, you know, if you feel the same way. Um, potentially you do, or maybe you just don't really care, and... You're too bothered living your own life, which, you know, is also fair enough as well. But it's something I've been very interested in for a very long time. And, you know, especially my whole years at uni, uh, more than anything, is when I was looking up and researching on the European Union. A lot of it was to do with um, my law course, of course. Of course, of course. So, yeah, that played a part into it. And, you know, the one thing that I noticed when I was at uni as well is a lot of the lecturers and everything are very pro-European. Um, I suppose because if we literally had just full European law, it would be a lot easier. You'd be able to get rid of all the common law and everything would be rewritten again and, it would, you know, the whole legal system would be a lot more streamlined. But to be honest, you know, if that's what a government wanted to do and actually set out to do it, yes, it would take a, a long time, probably more than one term to get all that sorted out. But if they wanted to streamline and sort out the legal system, you know, a government could do. It's not like to happen because it's a big um, task undertaking for anyone to do. And of course, you know, the courts are there doing it anyway by precedent, etc. So anyway, just uh, just a, just some food for thought there. And I will, well, see you all very soon. If you don't have any questions or comments, put them down below and I'll get back to you about it. If not, then that's also cool. Cheers. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye.